Hi, how you doing? It is me again, Curtis Palmer. As you can tell by now, I like to talk, but I love to listen. So we have a great relationship in store for us. Now, I'm truly glad that you decided to join our Christian On Point community. And it's my sincere hope that this Christian On Point community exceeds all of your expectations. And we're going to do everything in our power to see that it does so. Now, you should have your study guide by now, Recovering from the Fall. Now you have access to what I believe and have been told by others the best how-to training in the Christian community. Christian Old Point was born at the end of 31 years of intense observation, application, and study of the Word of God in a practical life application. The Word of God has proven to be fact, not fiction, as I've shared with you before. Members say that it is refreshing to learn how to live for God and have the tools to do so. Because that was my frustration in the beginning. How do I apply what I'm learning? Unfortunately, 90% of professing believers don't believe that it's possible to live in obedience to the Word of God. Uh, but that can't be true because from Genesis to Revelation, God is constantly urging us, pleading with us to obey His Word to show our love for Him. God tells us in His Word that, our, that His people... Um, are destroyed daily for lack of knowledge. That's why he tells us that we should study to show ourselves approved. A work that is not ashamed of the gospel, rightly dividing the word of truth. And to accomplish that, you must become a student of the word of God. God says that if you love me, you'll obey me. Now I've developed this study to help expand your knowledge and understanding of who God created you to be which includes your physical, psychological, and social attributes, which are influenced by your attitudes, habits, beliefs, and ideas. This is the first stage in understanding God's plan for your life, as well as your significant role as a human being in a needy, hostile, and desperate world. So, what we want to do is to make sure that we get off on the right foot, we want to go through a getting started list. The first thing, however, will be regular study of the Word of God. And that study will be coming from uh, Recovering from the Fall, your study guide. We will uh, go through your study guide along with the Bible uh, to study the Word of God, to really um, come to understand um, who God created us to be and what our role is in life and how to go about applying that on a daily basis. Um, and the purpose of this study guide, you know, recovering from the fall, uh, you're going to reveal the principles and truths uh, that you must practice to change your thoughts, ideas, philosophy, and behavior to carry out God's plan for your life. You know, unfortunately, uh, the average person doesn't have a clue what their ideas, philosophy, or their philosophy are. Uh, you know, and they, um, and what their philosophy is. You know, and most people kind of just float through life uh, reacting to whatever happens each day without any um, constructive plan to respond in a, in a manner that's going to take you somewhere. And people kind of find themselves uh, floating back and forth, up, up one day, down the next. And your journey with the Lord should be a consistent climb up. Now, you hear a lot of people talk about being down in the valleys and up on the mountain. That's because you're trying to serve God through your human nature, not really having a clear, drawn-out plan for your life based on the Word of God. Because this is the foundation for spiritual growth and development and affording members the opportunity to grow into mature, devoted disciples of Jesus Christ. In this study, there are several things we're going to cover. Number one is your God-given identity. Number two, your values. Number three, your authority. Number four, faith building. Five, restoring and strengthening the family. Six, establishing brother, brotherly love. And seven, stewardship. These are all seven things that you are going to be held accountable for by God. And you have an obligation in all of these to glorify God and be a blessing to others. 
The first thing we must do then, we must sign up for our weekly webinar. Um, that's the first thing you need to do. Um, the information is below on the screen, the uh, address uh, and how to go about uh, connecting to the phone call or the web uh, webinar, whichever one you choose to, uh, however you choose to participate. Uh, second thing is you need to get familiar with our websites and become familiar with the tools and training available to you. And the addresses are down below as well. Uh, to get started, you need to email me your phone number so that you can receive an automatic, automated message each week of the webinar training time uh, and date in advance. And also, any other documents and training and teaching that you will need uh, to help you in your spiritual growth and development. If you haven't sent your email to us already, but check and make sure that we get your email so that we can have constant contact with you so that you don't miss anything that you need. Now, as we move forward, most of our messaging and conversation will be done through email. And remember, investing in your spiritual growth and development is the greatest investment you will ever make in your life. And the first step is to perform a spiritual analysis of yourself. That's part of the process of what we're going to do in our study. Remember, because of the fall, man was born with a poverty mindset. Even if he has, he thinks from a needy and selfish mindset, always needing more and fearful of losing what he has in all aspects of his life. That's why we have so much uh, strife and fusion, fighting and division in our society. Every man is out for himself. And that fear of going to some place he come from or never going to a place that he feels going. Always fearful of not having enough for tomorrow. You need to understand some clearly as we're moving into this study and as you're analyzing yourself of where you are in your relationship with God. If you're trying to serve God with your emotions, it will cause you pain. And that pain will stop you from making the decisions that you need to make in your spiritual growth and development that are going to glorify God. You must have a powerful why. And it's just if it's just for what you want and what you desire, it's not strong enough to take you through the challenges and the changes and the sacrifice you will have to make uh, to be who God has created you to be. Satan is not going to give up that easy. And if you are serving God for selfish reasons, you are doomed to failure. See, these reasons are just not strong enough to continue to push you out of your comfort zone and to go beyond the pain and the struggle and also the, the impossibilities that your mind try to show you. Remembering that your faith in Christ, if it's where it needs to be, nothing would be impossible for you. Because the cares of this world and the deceitfulness of riches will derail you if your faith is not strong enough and if your why is not powerful enough. And your why should be to glorify God. To love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, mind, and body. And to love your neighbor as yourself. Because if you fulfill those two love commandments, he says everything else you want in life, he will give it to you. He gives us a singular focus so we don't have to be distracted with the cares of this world and our human nature and all that is trying to tell us we need to do to make life work. Move away from that saying that I got to do what I got to do. No, what you need to do is trust God and his plan for your life. And that's why we are here. We're living proof that it works. So let's get started. Once I receive your phone number, you will start receiving messages reminding you of the webinar training and the time. I'm also on Skype, which can be another means of communicating if you like to uh, talk one-on-one -on -one sometimes. Uh, because there's so many people involved, uh, contact me and let me know, and we'll see what we can work out to make sure that I can take care of my responsibilities to those ha who have uh, decided to be a part of the Christian on Point community. But if you have a desire, always let me know because whatever it takes for you to be successful in your spiritual growth and development, uh, we will seek to make it happen through the Holy Spirit's guidance. My email is curtis at palmer.me. That's on the page below also. So I look forward to working together. Have a blessed and godly day. And until the whole world knows, let's do this. Be blessed and have a godly day.
and thank you once again for joining our Christian on Point community.